because I've been complaining that uh, Mobad was horridly buried by his father. But we now have more shocking revelation from the Bali of Ikurudu. He said that it was the same night that Mobad died that the father wanted to bury him. In fact, it was him who stopped him that, no, this can't be done. He should wait till the following day. This has led many Nigerians to ask further questions. What exactly is Mobad's father trying to hide? Why did he horridly bury his son? Even the same night that he died, he wanted to bury him. Some Nigerians are even coming up with the thoughts that maybe they even buried this young man alive and he was not dead clinically. Mobad was not a Muslim that he should have been horridly buried. What exactly led to this? In an exclusive interview, Yabo's husband Polo opened up about his last experience with the late singer Mobad. He admitted that he may have unintentionally caused the singer's demise by taking Mobad to the UK for a personal show. He shared that during their time in London, Mobad expressed concerns about receiving threats, prompting him to consider hiring security. The artist manager reflected on his initial lack of awareness regarding the severity of the situation and he said, I think I'm even the person who caused all this wala. If I didn't take Mobad to UK, I don't think all this could have started again. Because after UK show, he got a show in Greece, had a European tour, and started having all these opportunities again. I feel so sad. I told him, we are going to London, get me your passport, I'll get you your visa. We are doing UK tour. He was just panicking. Even when he came to London, when one of the hotels, he started telling me that he's getting threats. Listen, I didn't know this thing was this bad. When he told me he needed security, I told him what is security gonna do. We're in London. And he showed me something. That was when I told him that as long as he's here, that he's okay. Nobody's coming to touch him. I spoke to him and his manager and I also told him that we will get him a security guard. Following the revelation of mobile's progress and opportunities after the UK show, Netizens took to social media to express themselves. Most of them said Mobad's counterpart became very jealous of his progress. That boy literally lived his last days in fear and panic. Well, Yabo Ujo visited the ex Malian sign in DJ Splash, which is currently battling mental illness. Truly, the demise of Mobad had opened a can of worms. And there have been lots of allegations against Naramali and Sam Larry. Aderoju Machi, who is probably called DJ Splash, a disc jockey formerly signed to Naramali's record label, is allegedly battling mental illness. DJ Splash case came to limelight following the demise of Mobad, who was also previously signed to the same record label. His mother, in a recently surfaced video, accused Naramali of ruining her son's life and abandoning him. She had said that the problem started in 2021 after her son DJ Splash won a competition and was given 100,000 naira cash. According to her, after he won that competition, he became endeared to a lot of celebrities who started taking him to many shows. Seeing that when he later met Naramali and Zlatan, they danced together. The mother noted that Naramali opted to take DJ Splash to live and work with him, an arrangement she initially contested, insisting she wanted her son to go to university first, to which Nara agreed to send the young man to school. According to her, after a while, though her son called her and asked her to come and get him from Naramali's house in Lekki, where they were living, ever since she took her son from Naramali's residence, DJ Splash has been ill, necessitating frequent hospital visits. She indicated that her son had memory loss and had not been mentally sound, though didn't specify if a hospital made any diagnosis for his condition. She said that DJ Splash had gotten so ill that she had sold everything in order to foot his medical bills at various hospitals, claiming that her son had resisted taking medication recommended by doctors and had insisted that he would only accept those from Naramali. While Nigeria seek justice for the late uh, Mobad, Yabojo, alongside a popular blogger, decided to reach out to the alien DJ. In a viral clip captured a arrival with an associate at the residence of the DJ Splash, where they were re welcomed by the family. Yabo then went on live on Instagram well. Yabo then went on live on Instagram while there with the family and the alien DJ who looked like a shadow of himself. She could be heard saying we are going to see to it that he gets proper treatment and justice. We failed more bad in life, but we won't fail him in death. But DJ Splash is alive and we are not going to fail him in life. And he's not going to die for he will live to declare that which the Lord has prepared him to do. His mother will eat the fruit of her labor over him. His brothers will enjoy the benefits from him. He will get married, give birth, and do all the things men do. This one is not the enemy's scapegoat, but a thorn in their flesh. The right authorities are going to take up your story and you are well protected. Everybody is going to protect you. The whole of Nigeria will take care of you. So, mommy, you are not the only one that gave birth to DJ Splash. We all gave birth to him and we will all 
take care of him. DJ Splash was given the floor to say a few words, though some of it was incoherent. He mentioned being pushed to the wall and subjected to a lot of things while adding, but we thank the Lord. I thank Father. I thank God. Truly, the demise of Mobad had opened a can of worms. His full name is Liriolua Oladime Jaloba. He was born on June 8, 1996. And he was known professionally as Mobad. He was an Nigerian rapper, singer, and songwriter from Lagos State. He was formerly signed to Naramali's Mali Records and left the label in 2022. He was best known for his hit singles for Mom Feel Good and KPK Kokboke, which was which was nominated three times for the Headies Award in 2022. He was born in K2 part of Lagos State. He was listed in Audio Max Top 21 Afrobeat Artist of 2021, and in 2022, he released Peace, produced by Rexy. He peaked on Turntable Charts Top 15 in 2021 and Top 100 in 2022. Priest Record also picked number one on Apple Music Chart Nigeria. Robert released his debut album, Light, in the fourth quarter of 2020 as a follow-up to his viral song, Pomo, which featured Naramali and Liu Kesh, and he was nominated five times for the Beat Awards 2021. The young man's EP, Blessed, his first after leaving the Malian Records world was released in June 2023 under his own label, Immolanization. The eight songs on the 20 minutes EP featured Niger artists Zlatan and Bella Schmolder and producers Nifis and Timiji. The album charted as number one on Happy Music in Nigeria immediately after his demise. Bella Schmolder is one artist who knew a lot that happened to Mobad and it was there for him to the very end. In fact, he was calling out Naramali and uh, Sam Larry even when he was alive. In February 2022, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and DLA arrested Mobad, Sinoleski and four others at their home in Lekki part of Lagos State for possession of illegal substances that included MDMA and cannabis. Some viral videos on social media showed NDLA operatives breaking into the music stands in the Lekki district of Lagos State in the heli hours of the day. And according to witnesses, the officials carried out the arrest without any such warrants, then mistreated the Malian singers. The NDLA officers were seen hitting the music stands with clubs and shooting into the head, forcing them into waiting trucks. NDLA confirmed the raid, stating our men raided an area in Idado Estate, where Naramali boys stay. According to a spokesperson for the NDLA, cannabis and MDMA was found in the apartment and car. Mobad, Zinoleski and four others were later released. And this year, following his uh, sad passing, we saw a video clip where it was stating in that video that he was given a substance to drink by the NDLEA. He also vomited some things. At this moment, the police and the governor of Lagos State already announced that they will investigate the circumstances leading to the singer's demise. And now, after the demise of Imole, we are seeing what exactly happened to, to other signees of Malia Records. Such tragic incidents that could have been avoided have come to the end of this episode. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.